You guys seem to like my part 1 on how to be a bad bitch, link up below. So I decided to make a part 2, except this is more of a spiritual edition. By the way, hi, I'm Angelic, your local Taurus baddie who is very judgmental. I feel like these tips will give you a higher vibration once you start implementing them into your life, so let's start. Number 1, don't lower your vibration to match someone's energy. You guys are on a different level for a reason. It's not worth stooping to their level. They're behind you, they're below you for a reason. Rise above it, don't lower your vibration vibration for anyone. Number two, it's not your job to be likable. I can imagine all of the Libras right now being like, but I want to be liked! You are not a prisoner to someone else's perception of you. You have nothing to prove to them. Think about it here, you're restricting yourself. You're not showing off your true authentic self because you want to be liked by someone who you barely know or someone who like you don't really care about what value do they add to your life like would you cry for them if they died if the answer is no why are you restricting yourself to be liked by someone who you truly don't even give a shit about miss girl don't be their prisoner be okay with your own energy don't focus on anyone else's energy even if you're alone don't focus on anyone else's energy because like it's completely possible to still be affected by someone else's energy even if you're alone let's say you're beefing with someone for example then they're constantly on your mind your energy is constantly focused on them Learn Learn to start channeling that focus back onto you because once you start focusing on yourself, I promise you, everything starts falling into place. The moment you choose you, everything falls into place. Stop thinking, what if that person doesn't like me or what is that person doing right now? Is she talking shit about me? Or like, what if they don't like me? Who cares? What do you think about you? Because I feel like that matters a lot more than what other people think of you. Be okay with your energy. Work on your energy. Focus on your energy. Also, really quickly, follow me on Instagram. Thank you! <laughs> Okay, I know I said this in my previous how to be a bad bitch video, but I truly stand by it. Stop telling people your shit. Honestly, the evil eye is so real. People can jinx you just like that. The more you tell people your goals, the more possible it is for them to jinx you. The more their negative energy affects you even if they're not there. I find that the more I share, the more I lose. Protect yourself because I believe that I have a lot of protection on my side, but I still can get jinx. Protect yourself. Choose reflection. How have you grown as a person the best feeling is knowing that you're no longer the same person as you were months ago you're in a completely different headspace like that is amazing take a moment to appreciate how far you've come or how differently you handle a certain situation maybe you handled it more maturely give yourself more credit actually think about what you've actually achieved always choose introspection over outward validation loss and sacrifice comes before elevation sometimes you must lose certain people or certain things in your life for your life to improve people come and they go learn to be okay with that especially if you're quite young high chance that's not your soulmate stop if you were soulmates you will be together if you were soulmates that person would not cheat on you okay that's not a point back to the video after leaving a 3.5 year um toxic relationship i changed as a person like truly changed as a person because who the fuck is this <laughs> I recently lost a best friend of five years. She didn't die, she just blocked this. I recently lost a best friend of five years and ever since her energy left us, bro, life improved drastically. You have no freaking idea. You can care for that person a lot. You could love that person, but sometimes the best thing in your life is for them to leave. You need to learn to be okay with that. No regrets over these losses because the rewards gained is always far more precious than that person or that relationship that just didn't fall through. There's a quote that it goes never judge if a situation is good or bad until at least a year has passed let me elaborate so a guy gets into a car accident shitty situation yes bad situation yes he gets sent to the hospital where he meets a really attractive doctor and they fall in love a year later he's married to the love of his life looking back on his situation the car accident was horrible that was a bad experience but overall if that car accident didn't happen then he wouldn't be beside the love of his life right now it ended up being a blessing in disguise that drastically improved prove the guy's life. A year has passed and the man standing beside the love of his life can confidently say that even though the car accident was a bad situation, overall it brought a positive outcome to his life. Really cheesy I know but I hope that puts things into perspective. Sometimes bad things have to happen for your life to just elevate. Nature sees all and this one might not make sense but it makes sense in my head. I, it's, it, mm. I believe that nature sees you one way or another. Because of this I've developed a habit where if I see trash on the side of the road or while I'm walking I try my best to pick it up and throw it in an actual bit. Mother Nature gave us a home and it's our duty to keep her clean. Starting 
small and picking up trash is better than doing absolutely nothing and I find that picking up the trash every time I walk home from the gym it, it makes me feel so elevated it makes me feel so high vibration I feel so at peace I feel like I'm I'm contributing to the cleanliness of the world even though it's such a small step but it's still something bad bitches don't litter bad bitches help keep the world clean okay if you want to be petty I do this a lot if someone is being low vibrational towards me, I like to say, I hope you heal. I feel like it's so backhanded and it pisses people off. On one hand, I genuinely, like genuinely, I hope you heal because you clearly need it. On the other hand, it feels like it's so rude for me to say that, but like, hashtag, guess like gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> Don't let people with no accomplishments knock your focus off enough said there you go these are some tips or mindsets that i've incorporated in my life the past month and i found a drastic change because i feel like i'm finally the best version of me i'm constantly evolving we're constantly evolving and i'm currently the best version of me friendly reminder before i go you boop, are a lot stronger than you think you are and you should give yourself a lot more credit okay bye <laughs> I can take you anywhere, I could take you home I just wanna be there so you never feel alone I know how it feels a bit lost inside this world Don't give up, don't give up